So who was your biggest inspiration and maybe why, Rob? And it can be more than one. It can be a person. It can be an event. It can be living or deceased. You know, I, that's a good, yeah, that's a great question. You know, I've, I got to, I got to say that there's, there's been so many ins inspirations uh, historically. Sure. Um, I, I think that, uh, you know, present day, I have, I'm, I'm usually inspired by my dad. My dad is a, uh, he's always just been a, a, an innovator. Um, uh, he, he's worked on rigs. He's the one who taught me nice. how to work on machines. Um, I, I have a lot of respect for, for uh, the knowledge that he has uh, passed on to me. I love that. So I mentioned Bill Graham earlier, and if I'm not mistaken, he's passed on, and you you worked under him, his tutelage. How did that come about? That kind of backstory. I'm curious. That was uh, that was a very random trip. I was on a uh, I was living in Oregon at the time, but I was on a mountain biking trip with some right. buddies uh, down to San Francisco, and uh, we just happened to meet the wife of uh, of the the guy who was managing the entire event. Oh, wow. uh, it was. Um, it was the Tibetan Freedom Concert in Golden Gate Park in 1996. Nice. And uh, we, we just met her, hit it off at a, at a coffee shop of all things. And uh, she said, well, you guys looking for work? Uh, we got we got this big concert going on. We need all the hands we can get. Yeah. And uh, I have to have my climbing gear with me because uh, when I was in the Army, I was, uh, uh, we were, you know, I, that's where I learned climbing and mountaineering sure. and that sort of thing. And I happened to have my climbing gear with me. Like, oh, you got climbing gear? You're a rigger. And so I'm, the next thing I knew, I'm just climbing steel, building, building that giant set uh, yeah. in Golden Gate Park. Now, I want to back up a little bit. I had reference to your military background very loosely, but you were in the 10th Mountain Division of the United States Army. Did I, did I have that, that correct? That's correct, yeah. You turned 21, and you were 22, 23, pretty young guy. You get shipped off to Somalia. You're involved in the now infamous, they made a movie about it, Black Hawk Down. What was that experience like for you? You know, for me, it was, uh, I mean, I literally went from uh, basic training to AIT, which is your advanced individual training, mm -hmm. and then got uh, immediately uh, sent to Fort Drum, uh, New York, to, uh, with the 10th Mountain Division, which I was really proud of. Being from Colorado, the 10th Mountain Division was started in Colorado. Okay. Uh, originally, uh, during World War II, they were ski and mountaineering troops. Uh, so for me, I, you know, they were they were legendary in Colorado. So I was excited to be working with them. Of course, you know, my first deployment, they ship us to the desert. There's no mountains, no snow. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we uh, we uh, we that was I did two tours over there. It was um, some good guys. We um, we really. Had a, a very um, life-changing experience there. 